Guys, Bitcoin is at a very key point right now, not only on the shorter time frames, but also on the longer time frame. So I will give you an update on what to expect for Bitcoin in the immediate short term. Also, I'm going to show you this extremely important chart. This is something that I need to show you, and this has given us a little bit of a different picture regarding what's happening right now for Bitcoin. We're talking about Ethereum, following up on the uh, trading setup I talked about yesterday. We're talking about traditional markets. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now and uh, let's jump straight into the bitcoin price because what we can see here is that we are still in the downtrend we're still in that bearish short-term kind of um, phase which we've been in for a good couple of weeks already here so what you can see here on the four hourly time frame is yes we did have a very clear very distinct rejection of the $51,600 level. And since we had that, I have been, you know, cautious here because then if we cannot break this orange box, there's only, you know, one way we can go. And that is down, we go down, consolidate at some point. Of course, we're not going to go down forever. We are going to find a bottom, but I'm not sure that we have found the short term bottom yet here, according to the short term chart here. But uh, you can see the trend, a high here. Okay, we got this high, a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, and let's see where this is going to take us. But for now, on the shorter time frames, we are still definitely trending down. And on the shorter time frames, we know that the forty-five thousand dollar level is absolutely vital. So uh, yeah, we are very close to it right now. Of course, we're only about one thousand dollars from this level. So uh, I wouldn't sell Bitcoin right now because we still have the support of the uh, longer term. Uh, time frames, which is also around $45,000. But uh, yeah, this is stuff you will want to watch right now because I do believe that it's likely that we could see a big move here if we see a breakdown. Because if we see a breakdown, and uh, let us go to the daily time frame before we talk about the weekly time frame. On the daily time frame, you can see that uh, we hit this uh, downward sloping red line. Of course, you already know about this. We found support of the orange line. And right now we are stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Not only that, but if I flip on the moving averages, the blue 200 day moving average rejected us one, two, three, four, five times here. So you still have this as a uh, resistance point if we do see a big move in Bitcoin or if we do see a move above the red line here. So on the daily time frame, we are stuck inside this. We will need to either break the red line to the upside or, you know, uh, yeah, the orange line is kind of getting away from us right now. But this is uh, going to act as some kind of support should we have a uh, move down. Okay, let's talk about the longer time frames. The weekly time frame, you can see that we are right on it right now. We are right on the support level of this massive wedge we have been talking about for so many weeks already. Finally, we have approached it. Finally, we have hit it. And uh, yeah, this is a bit uh, interesting because as I said, this is one of the last support levels on the longer time frames, and we do not want this to break down, but we need to be prepared for it. If this breaks down, we are most likely going to see a pretty violent move to the downside and at some point find resistance of, of uh, well, that's the point in which you go to my support and resistance levels here. And uh, yeah, definitely $42,000, I do believe is going to be massive support if we break down from it. But until we have broken down from it, I am just going to assume that uh, the probability of this to hold is still pretty strong. So until we break down, I am going to, according to the chart here, because remember, we have been hitting this a couple of times already. And uh, yeah, I'm going to assume that this is going to hold for now until we break down. And at that point, of course, we are going to change our strategy here a bit. Moving on to uh, the other weekly time frame, of course, this one right here. You can see that if I go to the daily time frame, we are right on the red line here as well, the massive support level. So if we do see that breakdown, be prepared prepared for it and act accordingly. But until we do see a breakdown, I'm going to assume that this is going to hold and that we are going to, from this point, most likely go up. Although the shorter time frames are not giving us a clear signal of a bottom yet, but we do know the $45,000 level 
is massive support for Bitcoin. So before we talk about this one, this chart right here, guys, if you want to trade this volatility, you are able to get $3,500 over on Femex. You got uh, $4,530 over on Bybit, $8,000 over on Ctrade. So make sure to take advantage of this if you want to do that. Also, of course, the Lux Algo massive lifetime deal. If you want to uh, use the best trading toolkit out there, you're able to get a discount using my link right here. So what are we watching on this chart? This is the Bitcoin paper hands ratio. And uh, this was posted by Binky Pondarosa. And what this means is basically the ratio of young coins active in the last six months divided by the circulating supply. So if we jump over to this chart, what we can see here is that we are at a point right now in which we usually see a bottom end. This is basically a representation of the retail investors, the newcomers into the crypto space and how much of the Bitcoin supply is in the hands of people who tend to sell very early. And what we can see here is that generally in history, once we go down to the uh, 23, uh, well, 25% level here on the uh, Bitcoin paper hands ratio, it usually means the bottom for Bitcoin. You can see it right here. This was the bottom for Bitcoin. You can see it right here. This was also a bottom for the Bitcoin. And right now we are at the same point. Now, this is a model. Of course, we only have two instances here to go above. But uh, yeah, in every video, guys, I'm trying to show you like if there's something bearish to talk about, I'm going to show you that if the, if the charts are telling me something bearish, I am going to, of course, talk about it. But also if the charts are telling me something bullish, if there is something bullish going on on chain or on the charts, I'm going to tell you about that as well. And then it's up to you to, uh, you know, make up your own mind and make your own decision, of course. But uh, yeah, just know that when we have been at this point previously, this has been the bottom for Bitcoin, meaning that the people who have paper heads, they have basically sold already. And the ratio 25% usually means that we are entering diamond hands territory, as he's been saying here. Uh, under 25% usually means that Bitcoin is in a dead zone and it's not going to go any lower because when we enter into this uh, kind of ratio or this uh, percentage, we tend to only have the diamond hands left and um, yeah, People like Michael Saylor who are never going to sell Bitcoin ever. So yeah, if no one is selling Bitcoin, there's really limited downside left. So make of this what you want, guys. Let's move over to Ethereum. We talked about a W pattern yesterday. This uh, was a big failure because we saw the start of a a big move here for Ethereum and then straight down as Bitcoin was going down. I talked about this yesterday as well. If Bitcoin would see a um, move down, this would probably invalidate uh, this, um, this pattern here. So what you can see is since then, we have gone down to the orange line on Ethereum. We found support struggling with breaking above the red line and the neckline at this point one, two times here. So uh, that's the situation for Ethereum, guys. Traditional markets are still at an all time high. You know what this means. I think that for as long as the traditional markets are doing good, it's only a matter of time before Bitcoin and crypto is going to catch up. Funnily enough, you know, altcoins are not doing that bad today. Altcoins are doing pretty well in general, many of them at least. So, you know, maybe that is going to be the start of uh, Bitcoin starting to go up again. But for now, massive support, massive support here holding so far for Bitcoin. I'm uh, hoping that this can hold, but if it doesn't, we need to be prepared for that as well. 45, $42,000 for Bitcoin. Be prepared for that and act accordingly. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.